welcome to another video, and today we are playing Bloxburg. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys my cottage. So, as you can see here, it is 10%, and it costs in total around 300,000 plus so yeah uh, and then I'm also have I also have three more plots I have this one this one is gonna be a large suburban family home um so I'm gonna go from cottage um I'm probably gonna make a Oh, what's it called? Like a modern mansion, um, the suburban family home, and then I'm eventually gonna work up to create a big castle. Um, I'm not really good at putting details on houses, so I still I'm still learning. But I'm gonna show you guys what I did with this cottage. So we're gonna play here. And I'm going to show you guys around, um, kind of like a walkthrough first. We're going to do walkthrough. And then I'll go into build mode and show you guys the ins and outs of everything that I did. Starting off here with a very spooky tree and someone who's crashed into my house. Wow, well, okay. Well, that's a nice house over there. Hmm. Very pretty. Oh, okay. So, starting off here, um, it is nighttime. I can't really see uh, what time it is, but I think it's Monday, so yeah. Um, starting off with the walkthrough, um, as you can see, the cottage, first and foremost, um, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark. But it is surrounded by a forest. The forest is kind of dense. It's dense enough to where it looks like a pine forest, but it's not so dense to where you can't walk through it. Um, I have this path here that's like kind of detailed and everything like that. And the first thing that I have to show is a little campsite. So, um... This is a cottage, and a cottage is very small, and it actually is a loft house kind of cottage. Um, so it could only room about two people inside of the cottage. So I decided to have a little tent out here. If anyone wants to stay on my property, they can. They could walk through it. I don't care. Um, but if they need to sleep or do whatever, then they could sleep here. Yeah. And it fits about two people. There's a little outhouse that I made. I'm um, just like a very simple kind of look. And um, yeah, you have some logs to sit on and you know, the fireplace. And yeah, it's really nice. Even a path leading off to the fireplace. And um, I don't know if you could tell, but it's a... Uh, very pinkish looking this is a blush cottage um if you don't know what blush means it basically means pinky pinkish kind of you know blush um as you can see here everything is kind of pink themed and even if your colors that you choose aren't exactly pink um i found out that you could change the lighting to pink so it makes it even look it makes it look even more it it makes it have that blush feel I guess that's what I'm trying to say um, I have this little pond in front just because I thought that would look nice um, and I have like a little flower garden thinking about adding some food in there and uh, I have my little porch here the porch isn't really that big it's just for decoration looks really um, but I have a plan over here and stuff I have a little place to sit that's it it's nice yeah um, I'm actually gonna continue the tour with the outside 
So the forest looks really dark and dense at night. There are a few areas that I could show here, like this area, kind of just like a bird watching area. Um, trying to hurry up here because this new screen recorder that I have only records up to 15 minutes. So yeah, I have a laundry room, which isn't really a room. It's more of just like an outside area, but I didn't have anywhere to fit that it could fit in the cottage. Um, so I just put it out here and it looks, looks cute. Um, so here's the backyard. This is where the path ends. It was like a little path on the side of the house. So here's where that ends, and I have this little outside area here, you can like drink lemonade and blow bubbles, and it's just a really cute area, um, and I have a swing set. Here is the bigger pond, um, and it has a waterfall, but I'm not really finished with it. I want to extend it all the way around there, um, and I also want to extend the path over here. It goes up to this kind of gazebo type of thing. Really cute. And um, you can see the lights up there, so we're just going to go head up there real quick. And uh, as you can see, the pond also spreads out from up here. It looks a bit more round because uh, I'm not working with basically pool. And uh, it's not actual water, but it still looks pretty cute. I have this area up here, which is like a little picnic area, really nice, and um, you know, I have some ropes here so it's all lit. And going back down, I have one more outside area actually, um, and that outside area is a little area back here. And you could tell by the light, you can't really tell in the daytime that the light's there, but you could tell at night. And it is a secret garage. It's probably gonna hold, um, I'm thinking about getting either a two person or a four person car. Um, leaning towards two person. Cause this cottage really is only able to fit two people at the least, four people at the most. Um, but for now it has my motorcycle in it. And I also have what controls the lights in my cottage. And when I say control the lights, it has that thing where you could turn it on and off. And if you turn it off, it turns off all the lights on your property, which is really interesting. So here's the cottage itself. We're going to go ahead and go in. Starting off with the living room here. Um, so... Yeah, everything I try to make as detailed as I possibly can. Um, I'm sure there's people who make it way more detailed than this, but I wanted it to be not too detailed. You know, I want it to be pretty simple. Um, you look up there, you know, it has a little balcony, uh, a little bit of a chandelier since I have the extra space. Um, and it really just is about the details, and I mean like really fine details. Here's the dining room, which is probably my favorite room in this house or cottage um, as you can see here it's so so pretty and um, here's the kitchen again you know you have all the details and stuff I have um, I change out some details like as you can see here I have pumpkins and stuff because it's fall and pumpkins are in season and again everything is kind of blush themed so I have a lot of pink and like warm colors um, and everyone knows my favorite colors are light pink and light yellow so you could see that in a lot of my builds depending on um, where it is if it's something small like this it'll be everywhere like in this bathroom so yep yeah, there's the bathroom and um, oh I actually want to take a minute to thank my friend on Roblox their name is Branning and they gave me so much inspiration to actually put the detail into my builds so as you can see here the tub isn't just like a tub it's actually its own space and you could like close the curtains it's really nice so I got that from them thank you so much 
Here's the loft part, the loft bedroom slash office, pretty much just a bedroom. Um, I made it so that I have as much room as possible in here while making it look still pretty cohesive and stuff. Um, and no, just because my favorite colors are light yellow and light pink doesn't mean all my builds are going to be light yellow and light pink and blush. I'm making builds that are going to be different than, they're not all going to be the same, basically. And, uh, <laughs> um, so in my other builds, it'll probably just be like the master bedroom or my room that'll be the pink color and the yellows. Um, I had this extra space in the build, actually, that I didn't know what to use for, so I just went ahead and uh, made that kind of like a storage area. <laughs> you can't really get to it, but it is what it is. And then here's the master closet. It's pretty big, um, at least in real life terms, it's big. <laughs> um, it's a little cramped in here. I wanted to make, my goal for this house was to make something garden, fairy-ish, but also that small aesthetic house that you see in a lot of Bloxburg builds. Um, and another one of my goals was to make it small but not too small. I wanted it to be spacious, like this, but I still wanted it to be like a small space. And I think I did pretty well on that. Um, you should know that I did not make this house as a whole, like this design was not my idea. I got that from a YouTube video which I will link in the description, go check out their stuff, it's really good. And um, I basically used that YouTube video to build like the shell and then I went ahead and I think I used my own colors, I don't remember. But I think I did and um, changed the placement of the uh, what, what's it called I forgot whatever I'm running out of time here but yeah um, and you could see the forest in the daytime or morning pretty much and uh, it's like I said it's dense but you could still walk through it um, I said I was going to go into build mode for you guys, but I don't think I'll have the time. So here is the hills. Um, there are hills and stuff. I'm calling them hills and not mountains because it really isn't a mountain. Um, but like large hills, small hills, all the hills are here in this plot. And yeah. So I should probably change the plot to look more fall-like, but honestly, it's so close to December that I'm pretty sure they're going to be changing the map to snow soon. Which, um, yeah, there would be no point in changing the colors, so I'm just going to keep it patches of green. Um, again, it's all about the details. I'll probably make another video going into those details, but you can kind of see how those details work. Um, like if I go up here, you can see that these are three shades of green here that I'm using for the mountains and for the patches of grass and, uh, just detail, detail, details like this, you know, rocks and stuff and the sandy outline of the pond and stuff like that. So yeah, um, but this is my first... Well, not my first, but my first saved, um, like, Bloxburg build. I made another one that was also small aesthetic, blush, um, and I did that myself. I made the house design, but sadly, I didn't have Robux slash money at the time, so I wasn't able to save it. It is what it is. Um, and when I wanted to make a new build, I had to delete the old build, so... Yeah, but maybe I'll show you guys how I made that in, in the future. Here is my entire build, and the video is about to end, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye.